with 7% of the planet's biodiversity contained in less than 1% of the world's landmass, Papua New Guinea, PNG, is the globe's fourth most biodiverse country. Deep within its territories is Wanang, home to a remote rainforest community. Unlike its neighbours who have sold out to logging concessions, an innovative partnership with scientific researchers provides the Wanang with an income from protecting its forests. Forests cover over 70% of PNG. For the indigenous inhabitants, there are few ways to earn money other than working for the logging concessions. These now dominate the country. The impact is really uh, not good to the people because um, most of the people depend on the rainforest. They get their medicine, their food. You know, they survive in the forest uh, doing gardening and, when, and then hunting also. So when the forest is down, uh, basically, they suffer. Wenang Conservation Area is protected by an alliance of 10 forest clans. The clans joined forces to help establish one of the largest research stations in the country. Conservation and climate research have become cornerstones of the local economy. More than 10,000 hectares of forest are being protected. But for huge um, trees like this with uh, huge batteries, you have to measure the diameter above the battery, so that's why you have to use the ladder to reach above the batteries and then take the diameter. Local people are trained to monitor forest health, creating jobs and a sustainable source of income. This project is very important because it, it has provided the local people with uh, job opportunities right in the middle of the forest. You have these local people uh, working to um, conserve their land but are still being paid and a lot of other benefits. It went for these uh, research, research projects, the projects that are, that are taking place here. Most of these guys would probably be involved in working with logging companies. Jonah Phillip is one of the community members who has benefited from training. Well, I come and join the conservation and the project. I learn more of uh, the, all of the things like pets, insects, plants, and also Sometimes uh, some other things, like in computer training, I learned computer and station. Not only has the partnership brought training and long-term job opportunities, Wenang now has a school for 300 pupils. When the project began, many villagers were skeptical about conservation as a way to generate income. Ten years ago, the community, when people were there, but they were scattered, there were no schools, people, you know, never knew what conservation would bring about. And um, some were doubts. Uh, some really wanted to go to logging because of the money and benefits. And some knew the you know, benefits of uh, conservation. So finally, um, conservation started to bring some income. And after 10 years now, uh, one and conservation have a school you know, people now can read and write, and that's, that's, I would say, it's a milestone achieved. Wenang's success is finally being recognised by the government, which intends to declare it a conservation area. It's only the second to achieve this status in PNG. The hope is that this will inspire other indigenous communities so that they too can preserve both biodiversity and their traditional relationship with the forest. No work, you come in Cetro, yeah. Me poor mama, papa. For Philip Damon, the village chief, it's a vindication of the community's decision to turn down the offers of logging companies in favour of long-term sustainability. Plenty logging now. Plant 
Dat zal in zuid land niet plakken zijn, dan moet je plakken zijn in bus. Dan moet je plakken staat, dan moet je plakken zijn. Dan moet je plakken toe plakken in wanneer we zijn op, dan moet je plakken zijn in de stad. Dan moet je plakken zijn in de stad. Dan moet je plakken zijn in de stad.